Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? <clears throat> 12 Rounds TV. Uh, Mayweather versus Pacquiao's fight just ended. And uh, just wanted to talk to you guys about what I thought about the fight. Obviously, a lot of you guys already know that uh, Mayweather won by unanimous decision. Uh, he, he won most of the rounds. Uh, you know, he did a good job of... Um, doing the same thing, you know, his jabs and, and in and out. Um, there were some rounds there where Manny Pacquiao, I thought uh, he was um, he was dominant. And um, obviously the judges and everybody else around the world, I guess, sees, sees that, uh, that uh, Mayweather was the, was the aggressor. Um, that, that's not the case here. <clears throat> I believe that Manny Pacquiao, to be fair, didn't do as much as I thought he would do. He did. He he did few rounds. You know, he got Mayweather on the ropes, and he did his signature, you know, multi punches. Um, got Mayweather a few times, and um, off to running again. I mean, you know, Mayweather he he did what a lot of people didn't think he would do again and that's what I've been saying before in my videos that Mayweather is not going to change his style yes Mayweather did win got it <clears throat> and and you know like I said I'm the first one to say that especially in my channel because I'm a Manny Pacquiao fan Manny Pacquiao didn't do as much as I thought he would do I said it before jabs win fights but I never expected Mayweather to run like he did tonight, especially the fight of this magnitude. I thought that he would go toe to toe more with Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao tried to catch him. Mayweather, it was too fast, not fast as anything else that we've never seen before. But you know, Manny, uh, Manny Pacquiao is shorter than Mayweather and shorter reach. Mayweather has the longer reach. And he can run. I mean, he ran just like any other fights. A lot of you guys that commented me below, I mean, commented me before and spoke with me before, said that um, that Floyd is gonna go toe to toe with Manny Pacquiao. And I said it. If there's one thing that I would say that I was right is about Floyd Mayweather, he will not go toe to toe with Manny Pacquiao. He had him in third round. He got him in the chin. He rattled him a little bit there. He, Manny Pacquiao threw a lot of punches there. And I thought he was going to go down. Mayweather did not go down. Then the ring goes off. And then that was end. Um, and then fourth round, fifth round, and so on. It was the same. I, I didn't see anything, you know. Mayweather would do his signature jab here and then move around, run around or move around as Manny Pacquiao said in the post-fight interview. Um, in the first round, I thought that Mayweather, you know, I thought that he was different, like he was going to go different because he clearly won the first round because he was the aggressor there. I mean, say aggressor, he's the one that throwing a lot of punches. But it was mostly jabs. It wasn't like toe to toe, you know, somewhat of a brawl that we all wanted to see. Some some type of a a boxing match, not a jab match. A lot of people was booing when Mayweather was announced the winner. A lot of people were saying that this was a very very boring fight for the price we paid, and I agree. This was very boring. You know, I was watching it, but by the time it was like seven or eight round, I was with my friends and, and we're like, this is very boring. I wasn't only mad at Mayweather, I was also mad at Manny Pacquiao. He was not throwing as many punches as I thought he would. But on the other hand, I can't blame him. He cannot, he has to chase him. He tried to chase him and move, Mayweather just move again. I, if I was Manny Pacquiao by like eight round, nine round, I just I just stand in one corner and wait for him because there was, and then Mayweather had a, the audacity to, to like 
punch his gloves on a 10th or 11th round, like let's go box. How can he box you when you run around? He gets you a couple hits in there and then you get riled up. You know, you get startled and then you run. Mayweather clearly not know any reason bitching or, you know, saying anything that he didn't win. He won. Mayweather won. Clear. By judges, by everybody else. I was very disappointed on the fight. Very, very disappointed. I thought that it w we would see more toe to toe. I guess that's it. Um, Kenny Bayless was all right. I mean, well, the thing is, I couldn't really judge Kenny Bayless like how I judged him prior to the fight that I was saying that it was going to be for Mayweather because in this match, Kenny Bayless didn't really have to do anything. I mean, they barely, barely got close to each other. The whole time, Mayweather's reach was the advantage. It was the advantage and his foot. He'll jab, Manny Pacquiao tries to get in there, and he'll run. He gets in the ring, run on the left, run on the right, run. You guys notice every last 10 seconds of each round, pretty much, Mayweather danced it. So if you add it all, that's 120 seconds off of the whole thing. So Mayweather clearly won the fight by scorecards, by points. He did. But who was the tougher fight? Who was the tougher fighter in this fight? I thought Manny Pacquiao did the best. Well, I wouldn't say he did the best he could. I thought that he should have thrown more punches. I thought that he should have been more aggressive and went after Mayweather a little bit more because like I said, we already knew, I mean, I'm sure he did, that from the get-go, he had to have, he had to, have, he has to chase him. He's had to chase him and he did. He just, Mayweather was too quick to run. I mean, I was frustrated and I was the one watching it and I said, here we go again, here we go again, dancing around, run around, get the jab in him, you know, his signature right, which he missed a lot. Um, he got a lot in Manny Pacquiao, but most of them, the biggest ones, were, were missed. Um, Manny Pacquiao got Mayweather a few times on the ropes. Um, I thought he was going to go down, like I said, in the third round. Um, but he didn't. So, and after that, I believe after the third, fourth round, it was, it, that was it. It, it was pretty boring. It, it, it was really boring. I, I didn't expect it. Do I want a rematch? I don't know. It's going to be the same fight. It's going to be a running around game. He needs somebody. Mayweather needs to fight against somebody that's going to run also. May, Manny Pacquiao, that's just not his style. He doesn't run. You know, he, he has to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody. The whole rounds, the whole 12 rounds, after the 12 round, I thought the whole fight was boring. I'm not just saying that because I'm a Manny Pacquiao fan and because he didn't win. I really, really thought that I would see something else different. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Manny Pacquiao fan. I'm sure a lot of Floyd Mayweather fans will say, yeah, we won, yeah, victorious, we said. But deep down inside, you know that fight was boring. It wasn't worth $90. It was really boring. I thought I'd see more explosions or trading of the shots, toe-to-toe -to -toe type, you know, especially the, the, the magnitude of this fight. They didn't see it. I was very disappointed, man, to be honest. Mayweather clearly won by judges, scorecards, in everybody's eyes. He clearly won. Um, he got the mo most punches in. He got the most cleaner shots and landed more. But um, but those are the things that wins fights, you know. Not necessarily, I would say, the Triller in Manila or the Rumble in the Jungle type stuff. Nowhere near compared to it. So I guess Mayweather 48-0. The best ever, right? Just, uh, if I may, I, I, it was really boring. I, I didn't like it at all. I'd rather watch a stupid fucking other fights rather than this one. You know, everybody was thinking especially in the Floyd Mayweather side, that Mayweather is going to change his style, that he was going to be aggressive and try to toe-to-toe -to -toe and knock out Manny Pacquiao. 
You can't knock out Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao would set it. His punches were not, you know, he wasn't stronger than Cotto or Margarito. Um, he said that he thought he won. Some people call him sore loser for that. I mean, you're entitled to your own opinion. I don't think he's a sore loser. I think he just clearly thought that he won because the dude, the dude ran. Let's talk about a little bit more about the fight. Like I said, from the first round, Mayweather was aggressor. Second round, third round, Manny Pacquiao got a little um, warmed up there. Um, and um, we got Mayweather on the ropes. Fourth round, fifth round, the same, same, same. Sixth, seventh round, Manny Pacquiao got a little heated again. Um, six, uh, seven, eight round, every time Mayweather slowed down, the Manny Pacquiao took advantage of it and get him on the ropes. No knockdowns, not really hard shots. There were a lot of clean shots from Mayweather, and I admit that. But it wasn't necessarily like hard punches, like clean shots. I mean, both fighters are, are very good. I thought that Manny Pacquiao did a very good job of, you know, at least trying to chase Mayweather down, but it wasn't enough. I thought that Manny Pacquiao should have thrown a lot more punches than he, he should have, that he should, that he did. I thought that Manny Pacquiao could have could have had a better chance had he caught up with Mayweather as as he you know as he get away from him. you know he he did run a lot um, but that's his signature so I was wrong about everything about Manny Pacquiao and I admit that I was wrong about everything that Manny Pacquiao was gonna knock down May, uh, Mayweather in the first nine rounds almost did though almost did in third round um, or other I think third and eighth rounds um, almost did but it didn't happen, so I was wrong about that. I said that, you know, Manny Pacquiao was going to win this fight by either, you know, split decision, but clearly Mayweather won the fight by unanimous decision, which is even better. Um, but I wasn't wrong about one thing. That one you guys got to give me. No matter how much you guys criticize me, you got, no matter how much some of you guys would laugh at me, you cannot say that I was wrong about my prediction totally, not 100%. I said in the beginning, Mayweather's style has been working for him for 19, 20 years. And that's what I said on my prediction. He's not about to change that. And some of you guys disagree with me when I said that. That he's going to be more aggressive. No. If anything, bros, Mayweather ran more tonight than he ran with Canelo Alvarez. Because he knew Canelo, he could, he, he could school Canelo. When he started jabbing Canelo, Canelo couldn't do anything. When Mayweather started jabbing Pacquiao tonight, Pacquiao retaliated. And when he, child re when he started retaliating, Mayweather ran. He ran. So, I wasn't wrong at all. I was not wrong completely. I was wrong about Manny Pacquiao winning the fight. He didn't win the fight. Clearly, I admit, Mayweather won the fight by points. By points. Not by stupid performance. Not by the better aggressor, not by none of that shit. None. Okay? I was not 100% wrong. I was only wrong by Manny Pacquiao not winning and not knocking down Mayweather. I was wrong about that, but not entirely wrong. <clears throat> I'm going to repeat. I said it before. Mayweather was not about to change his style. He's been working for him for freaking 47 fights, 19, 20 years. He's going to run and jab. And guess what he did tonight? The same freaking thing. More running, actually. Um, but he didn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Manny Pacquiao. Okay, let's talk about the post-fight interview with Max Kellerman and Jim Lampley. Um, Jim Lampley interviewed um, Mayweather and asked him, <clears throat> you know, what do you think about the fight? What do you think about Manny Pacquiao? He said he was a tough competitor. And guess what Mayweather said? He said, yes, I knew Manny Pacquiao was not an easy opponent. I knew Manny Pacquiao was going to come high, I mean hard and blazing. And um, exactly, not, not verbatim, that's not what he said, but that's what he implied. Um, I knew Manny Pacquiao was going to be very, very aggressive in this fight and he's going to come strong. But, you know, he said, I'm going to take my hat off to Manny, you know. Um, now he said this now I see um, 
why he is one of the guys of the pinnacle of boxing. He said that he is truly blessed, that's what Mayweather said. Manny Pacquiao is truly blessed, that's what he said. He said, I was calculating fighter. I was I am a calculating fighter, that's what he said. Mayweather said that I am a calculating fighter. What that means is what everybody already knows. He studies fighter as the rounds go on. He is tough competitor. I had to take my time with him. My last fight is in September. And he said he has, well, he's going to hang it up after that. We'll see who he fights in September. We don't know. And he thanked all his sponsors. From the Manny Pacquiao side, he was interviewed by Max Kellerman. Manny Pacquiao said he was a good fight. He said, I got him many times, but not enough. He said, I saw the punches. I thought I won the fight. And that's when Manny Pacquiao got criticized because he thought he won the fight. He said, some people said, especially that stupid Pauli Malinaji, a sore loser. I want him to say that in front of the Filipino crowd. I want him to say that walking down the street. Say that, that Manny Pacquiao is a sore loser. Say that. Keep saying that. You see what happens. Manny Pacquiao said that Mayweather is moving around. He couldn't say it properly in English. If he knew English better, he would say this. He ran around a lot. That's what he meant. He is moving around. You're moving around is more kind, polite way of saying you ran. It is not easy to throw punches when the guy is running around. I can handle his power. He's not strong like some others, like Margarito and Koro. He's not bigger than me. Obviously, Mayweather is. He's taller than Manny Pacquiao. He's got longer reach too. Seems like Mayweather is flat-footed too. The size doesn't matter, and we know that. Manny Packer said, I have fought bigger guys. This Max Kellerman, the obnoxious interviewer, said that, well, if you think like that, all of us over here thought that you clearly lost the fight. We know that. We know that, bro. You know, we got that. I wish Manny Packer would give him a damn left hand when he started fucking taunting Packer. Dude, the dude just lost, man. You know, you're a fucking stupid interviewer on the side. And, you, you know, when you ask questions, every, especially particularly to the fighter that lost, you got to be careful. Be careful what you say. You hurt some people's freaking stupid feelings, man. He just lost a fight and you're going to fucking drill him like that? I would to punch that stupid fucking Max Kellerman myself. Anyway... But there you guys have it. Mayweather <clears throat> won the fight, unanimous decision. Um, it's funny because one of the judges there seems, I don't know, I can't remember who he was. What's his name? Her name, his name. But it seems like this judge, I've seen him before, he likes the number 116, 112. I can't remember who the heck he was, but it's like, that's the same, this guy always scoring 112, 116. And sure, sure, that thing come that came out again, 116, 112. The, the, the judges scored, guys, was um, <clears throat> 118, 110, 116, 112, and 116, 112. The first score was too wide. We don't disagree, obviously, with a 116, 114, or 115, 113, but clearly 118, 110, uh, nah, I'm going to have to question that one. Anyway, let's go to Brian Kenny. Thought Brian Kenny was all right. Brian Kenny did warn Floyd so many times, so many times about you know holding, about leaning, about whatever. Not what, I mean, how many times are you gonna warn Floyd before you take you duck some points off of him? But he didn't. But like I said before in the video, Kenny is Mayweather's guy. I made a video, guys, prior to this one. 
And I said that Manny Pacquiao is coming to this fight losing. He's already lost. There's so many things that is not for him. It was everything was for Mayweather. The judges, the referee, the whole Las Vegas. So regardless of how many fans were there, that's still Floyd's house. Doesn't matter. My conclusion is this, guys. Mayweather clearly won the fight. Unanimous decision indeed. I thought that his style was the same as forever. Never changed it. And it worked again with Manny Pacquiao. So I guess he's never going to change. For some of you guys that thought that Mayweather was going to change, no. It's the same. It was a boring fight. But that's what Floyd wants, a boring fight, because he's going to win with a boring fight. I thought we overpaid and overhyped this fight. I really thought we did. After the fight, that is, obviously. Now, before the fight, and I thought Mayweather was going to change. Most of you guys comment me down below and talk to me about it and said all the good things, you know, about Mayweather and said that, you know, Mayweather was going to clearly win the fight. Not, you know, obviously, I said... Yeah, Mayweather is in favor, got it, you know what I mean? But if he go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Manny Pacquiao, he cannot, Mayweather cannot handle Manny Pacquiao's power. He tugged him, punched him, chin, little bit, third round. He got freaking rattled. That dude got startled. I mean, so disappointed. I would have loved for it. I mean, at least Mayweather knock out Manny Pacquiao, you know what I'm saying? Or at least Mayweather, when he, you know, we know, you know, that when he wins, at least he was like with a knockdown or, or he went toe to toe, then he would get more respect from me and from a lot of people. If Mayweather clearly went toe to toe with Manny Pacquiao and threw a lot of punches and actually really, really tried to knock out Manny Pacquiao, throw some very, very big punches, you know? There was not even marks on freaking Manny Pacquiao's face. Manny Pacquiao was more energetic than Manny than Mayweather that looks fatigued after the damn fight. There was no marks on Manny Pacquiao. And he won by that much wide, 11, 111, 118, 111. How could it be? By jabs? Okay, Mayweather won clearly by jabs running all night. But he won. Unanimous decision. Congratulations, Mayweather. On the other hand, Manny Pacquiao, I res still respect you. I think you're still the best boxer. I still I still think that you're the great fighter tonight. It's just that you lost the battle, but I thought that you won the war. Why? Because you went out there and you gave it. Not necessarily I thought that you would. I thought you should have thrown more punches when you got him in the ropes, but I agree. You can't throw punches when he's running around or as you say, when he's moving around, you meant he ran around. Got it. Got it. I wasn't the one in the ring there. So I respect that. Um, Manny Pacquiao, I don't think that you should rematch with Mayweather. Because regardless of what you do, he's going to run. He's not the type of fighter that wants to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Manny Pacquiao has a stronger, stronger punch than Mayweather. Heavier hands. Manny Pacquiao is the real man. He's a real man than Mayweather. He's a real boxer to me. And I will give my all respect to Manny Pacquiao for doing that, even though he lost. He still won my respect, and so has a lot of people. Manny Pacquiao was 67% favored to win on Twitter, as they showed it on, the, on, the, on TV prior to the fight. Mayweather was only 33%. Why? Because everybody thought that Mayweather was going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Manny Pacquiao. He was not going to do that. And I said that in the beginning. I'm very disappointed. But congratulations to Mayweather, to Manny Pacquiao. I wish you, I, I wish you the best of luck to your future endeavors, to your future fights. 
and then um, hope to see some more exciting fights. I wish that you would um, next time um, choose an opponent that, that that gives us a better fight. You know, gives us a run for our money, not a boring fight. You know, but we tried, right? We tried Mayweather, but um, he's not gonna go. He's not gonna go toe to toe with anybody. He could fight Mark Guerrero again, and he's gonna do the same. He's afraid of brawlers. He, he's afraid of toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He couldn't do that with Maidana neither. Your, Maya Pacquiao's style and Maidana's style are the same. He's not going to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He's going to run and jab. And that's what... That's what he wins. Manny Pacquiao, you won. I respect for trying your best. But um, clearly, I understand when you said... And I'm not going to criticize you like stupid fucking Pauli Malinaji, Malinaji, whatever you fucking call his name, when he's calling you a sore loser. And I'll make a video about that. And I'm going to talk all kinds of crap. So if you guys don't like to hear crap, don't watch that video. But I'm about to make a video about that. I'm going to talk about clearly Pauli at all. I'm going to talk about him, the whole concept of Pauli Malinaji. But for about Pauli Malinaji's comment to you, ignore it. Don't worry about that guy. <clears throat> tell him if I were you Manny Pacquiao go up to him tell him please tell say that again that I'm a sore loser to my face maybe he'll understand well guys it wasn't the fight that I anticipated it wasn't the fight that I thought I would see paying this much money to it making so many videos about it and following it religiously this was not the fight that I thought I would see but I had an I had I had an idea that it was going to be Mayweather that runs around, but and, and sure he did. I was wrong about the fight about Manny Pacquiao winning, but um, I was wrong. Mayweather did win. He clearly won the rounds. He clearly won the fight, 118-111, questionable. But 116, I would give it a 116-112, 115-113, somewhere around there, just because Floyd ran, but... Jabs win fights and for jab, not necessarily a fight that I would want to see again. Not necessarily a fight. Put it this way. If I knew that the fight was going to be like this, then I would have just waited until the fight was air, aired on Showtime or HBO for free. Because it's just too expensive to see another fight that we've already seen. A run around fight cannot do that. Not on a mega fight. Not on the biggest fight they said at the century. It wasn't. It was boring as fuck. The only excitement that we had is when Manny Pacquiao got him, I mean, with on the ropes because there was action. You know, we want to see action. We paid $90 for it. Hell, I got a bargain. Some people probably paid 150 bucks in Vegas. Some people probably, and people that actually went to the fight, paid $1,500, bucks, 10000 dollars to watch this boring fight. Come on, man. The Mayweather had the audacity to come in the ring like, I'm the champion, you can't touch me. You know, whatever, whatever, you know. Try to show a sportsman-like conduct to Manny Pacquiao by going to Manny Pacquiao's corner the, the first time. But you know goddamn well. Manny Pacquiao, did you not see Manny Pacquiao's face when he went to the corner? The second time, not the first time, the second time. Manny Pacquiao looked at him and said, you cheated me. You ran. I thought you were going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. All that talk, all that stare down, all that aggressive, mad look angry at the press con the way in and you ran away from a guy that is freaking two inches shorter than you and he didn't even want to get away in did you not know that mayweather the weight his weight tonight was not no was not announced it was blocked why was that all about come on man it's not that serious well you weigh 160 tonight mayweather that's okay that's all right you wanted to be able to take, absorb those punches from Pacquiao. And indeed you did. We just want to know how much you weigh. Pacquiao gained 7 pounds, 145 to 152. It's not really all that. I could drink 3 bottles of water and probably gain 7 pounds. But to Manny Pacquiao, man, I wish you the best of luck. God bless you still. I wish you the best of luck on um, all your future fights and I'll be following you and making videos of you and still put you on my top A list and um, keep doing what you're doing man I just thought that um, 
We tried tonight, didn't work out. Mayweather versus Pacquiao. Mayweather wins by unanimous decision. 118 to 111, 116 to 112, 116 to 112. One was a little bit off and questionable scorecards, 118, 112. Must be from Las Vegas. Um, but there you go, guys. Mayweather wins, 48 and 0. Congratulations to him. Unanimous decision, like I said. Until next time, 12 Rounds TV. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.